In today's video, we're going to be talking about the leaked 87 hero pack and how it affects the market. So just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. For the cheapest premium trading service for just £4, four euro or free with Amazon Prime. You'll get yourself daily trading and investing guides covering both Xbox and PlayStation with an array of different techniques depending on your budget. I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million on multiple titles and recently making over 10 million in the first month for the last three years. So there has been a new icon pack leaked and what we're going to do today is we're just going to talk about the implications this is going to have on your team, what investments you guys made this weekend and um, I guess the overall FIFA market. So without further ado, if you guys are interested in the pack, basically we've got the pack code right here. Basically packs have to get added to here because before they become an SBC. The array packs don't get added to here before they become an SBC as if they're a player pick because it's the pack code and there only has to be packs. So what we're going to do is we're going to type control F and we are going to go and type hero in and if by magic it's going to show us all the hero packs. Uh, you'll see we've got the previous hero pack we've had in previous uh, times and you'll see we've got the world cup hero pack that will obviously come during the world cup and then we've got the new hero pack which is the overall max well, 78 overall max hero pack. Now this is a very very nice pack, it's uh, obviously got itself some very very nice players in, uh, even more though, even more so than the Icon SBC. So go over here for heroes here and we're obviously defaultly sorting by the highest rated, basically everyone here and below is in the pack, we've got ourselves Joe Cole, we've got ourselves Cordoba, we've got ourselves Yaya Torre, Marquisio, basically includes the majority of the world modded heroes, which as a result is going to mean it's going to have quite a big impact on the market, because if we actually go and compare this to the base Icon SBC, uh, basically, there's there's you know, a lot lot better players in here. Or at least I guess the average player is looking pretty decent. So what is this base average rating 86? Yeah, there's a lot more trash in here. You know, we're seeing players like Hierro, seeing players like Vieri, seeing players like Rygar. There's a lot more like 100k players. Maybe the hero is a little bit hit and miss. We've obviously got a few 20 to 50k players in there. But we've got a lot of 100k players in it, and as a result, for the average player, it's a bit boring. On top of that, the hero utility this year it was obviously a little bit better than the icons. If you don't know, heroes give plus two leagues, whereas icons only give plus. I think they give plus two nations. Heroes obviously obviously give plus one nation on the nation they are, so they give basically three utility to the squad. So let's kind of have a little walk through what we're expecting. First off, we're expecting on the Monday. Icon SBC came out on the Monday. They could release it any time, like now onwards, because obviously the Icon SBC is expired, and if they're not running two at the same time, it means the market's not going to go too crazy for fodder. We expect it on Monday, which basically means I don't expect many negative uh, market implications for your players uh, and so on and so on until Monday, or unless people start panic selling pre. So there we go. You can see it came on the 17th for the icon pack. These were the icon requirements. Now, do I expect this SBC being more or less? Now, if we look at the SBC requirements of last year, which I don't actually have out for you, the requirements for the hero pack was almost about half the price as the requirements for the baby icon SBC. The hero pack came in about 270. Whereas the first Icon SBC, I think, I think was about 400 to 450. So uh, yeah, EA do deem it as being quite cheap. Now obviously, are they going to deem it as cheap as the 86 Icon Pack? I'd kind of say so. I'll be completely honest with you. I would expect it to be around about this round of price. I wouldn't even be too surprised if the requirements are too different. So looking at the requirements of last year, what we're going to... Sorry, look at the requirements of the SBC right here. We're going to kind of use this to work out what to invest in. So we've got an 84 rated team, standard. And more importantly, we've got an 86 rated team with an M4. Now, obviously, whatever you invest in is going to be, you know, a bit of a risk and a bit of a gamble that's going to be needed. But there's a few ways of actually going against, I guess, gambles. And the first way of doing that is buying, well, it's a bit of a hard one, but it's going to be buying Team of the Weeks of ratings which we don't have in the current Team of the Week. So, if we have a little look at the current Team of the Week, we can see that we've got ourselves some 89 rated, we can see we've got some 84 rated, we can see we've got some 86 rated. And, you know, the 82s and 83s. So, as a result, what are quite an interesting play is to do here is to buy and form ratings that aren't in the current team of the week. Now, the reason for this is when people build their squads, a lot of people go off the presumption that the lower the rated of the card, the cheaper the informs are. Basically, see this right here with the likes of the 87 rated informs comparing them to the 87 gold cards. Because the price difference between an 86 rated gold card and an 87 rated gold card, we've got 12 or 13k here for the 86. And we've got ourselves 18k here for the um, 87, which as a result means there is literally a 5k difference. 
But if we go and look at the inform cards, we can go and see that the 86 rated informs have 21k, whereas the 87 rated informs are 29.5. This means that there is an 8k difference, which as a result means that because, and the reason this should happen is because there's been no 87 informs for a week and a little bit now. And as a result, 87 rated informs have become rare. Because they become rare, they've become, I guess, bad value for money, but people are still going to buy them. And it also means that they're quite anti the market dropping if they're not needed. So what you guys can go out and do is you can actually go and pick up these 87s. Because although they're not good value for money, they're actually relatively risk-free. Because what should have happened is, hopefully, Mount should have dropped as a result of not being needed today. See if he has. Draw from 23 and he dropped down there to 22. Whereas if I look at these, hopefully, they'll go and fit the agenda. 30 is down to 29, but then they've rebounded to 30. And the reason for this is basically they're just very low supply. Because they're very low supply, again, he did rebound 2k since. These cards are quite immune to dropping because it's almost like there's, well, there's only 10 on the market anyway. They're very, very rare. So the first thing you can actually go and do is look at the current team of the week. And you can go and find where are the gaps in the ratings. So we've got no 87 rated informs, which means that boom, boom, and boom are very, very nice, safe, risk-free investments. If you want another safe, relatively risk-free investment, there's no 85 rated informs. So what you can do is, if I do have the list up here, you can go and pick up some of these 80. Well, you can go and pick up Gakpo. Gakpo is literally the only one that would be deemed as SBC fodder, uh, and that would basically be one of the ways how you can look at players to pick up where I don't think they'll drop in the rest of the market. Now, I do recommend picking up Team of the Weeks. I wouldn't go anything 84, because 84 is a little bit too common. But looking to pick another likes of a Halavik on a Saturday, around about 3 p.m., to be ever so specific. And I'd look at picking up this guy for about... I think it would be going for about 19k on a Saturday. If he can be cheaper, brilliant. Man was about 17k last week, so if he could get, get down to that price, that would be great. And then likewise, I mean, Tony Cruz is a little bit overkill. But obviously the likes of Donnarumma has picked up nonetheless. And what did Donnarumma go down to last week? I think it was down to 35k at his lowest. Yeah, it was. So if Tony the, uh, Tony the Tiger can get down to 35k, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And um, yeah, sadly it doesn't have the utility that the likes of Donnarumma does in terms of being demanded for Weekend League. But I still do believe that 35 would be a nice little pickup for the likes of Tony Cruz going into the likes of the SBC. Now the next thing you're going to pick up is going to be pretty obvious, and that is going to be gold cards. Now, again, we go back to looking at this, and this needs an 86. Now, I believe that the best money was in, on 86s. Uh, I think it was on 87s, 88s, and 89s. reason for this is, obviously, the higher the rating, the rarer the player is, and uh, the rarer the players are, the, you know, the more they rise with an increase in demand. So, let's have a little look at the players. If we go cheapest by rating once again... So what you want to be doing is basically splitting your coins onto these multiple players. So I'd probably go and put, ah, actually there's another player this weekend. And that's buying 85s, but that's because of the team the week pack, and that's a little bit different. So the 86s, I'd probably be putting put about 20% of my coins. reason for this is EA is requiring 86s a lot. So I'd go 20% on 86s. I'd probably go 20% on um, 87s. And then you're probably looking at throwing 30% on either of these two. Just because, again, the higher the rating, the better these cards are doing. Could look at the 90s, uh, but again, they've got a fair bit to go down. Plus, these are going to stay probably relatively inflated for the likes of Messi. If they do drop down again, what you can do is you can go 20% of your coins on 86s, 20% of your coins in 87s, probably 20% of your coins in 88s, and then 30% on 89s and 30% on 90s. Uh, again, outside chance these drop once again. I think it's very inflated for the likes of Messi. So we've got the likes of Inform Fodder, we've got the likes of the Gold Fodder. Again, Saturday, around about 3pm, should um, be your pickup time on the Informs. Sorry, and then Sunday, 9pm, should be your pickup on Gold Fodder. One had a uh, pretty bad drop during this time. And the reason this basically happens is because people either go and sell the Gold Cards or go and do the SBCs. They go and uh, sell players in their team because they've gone and got a hero they're replacing it with. Or again, they're just changing their teams around to not use players like Son. And again, we go move to Son. We go and look at where he was in the first of November. And again, pretty dodgy drop. We go 173 right here. By the end of the week, he was down at the likes of 84. So this guy only dropped 90k in the week. So basically, the cheaper the players, the more they're being affected. Because obviously, the more likely someone sells them to go and do the likes of the SBC. So for your team, I'd want to get out of it by Monday. Which is pretty decent because that basically means you can go and use your team a weekend. Sell it, you know, ideally Saturday, Sunday, then get in your fodder 
if fodder isn't too inflated by then, and then sell your fodder on Monday, and then see if there's any investments pick up on the panic. So uh, I believe that has wrapped it up. So just, uh, I guess, an overview. Buy your gold fodder on 9pm on Sun on Friday. Buy your informed fodder at 3pm on the likes of Saturday. Uh, sell your team whenever you finish it with weekend league. And yeah, potentially expect the market to drop for a whole week. That is going to wrap it up with the likes of the 87 Hero Pack. Any questions, I do stream 12 hours a day from 7 till 7. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.